Hello YouTube, this is Captain Ball again. It's time to continue with the original vs Repro series. The year is 1862 and this is the year when Colt introduced its open top 36 caliber pocket models, new pocket models. One of them was the little brother of the 1851 Navy, the 1862 pocket. I have the Hubert Repro here and I have the original as well. So let's see now the basic differences between the two. As usual, the name we use today for this little beauty has nearly nothing to do with the original terminology that Colt used back in the 19th century. The 1862 Pocket Navy name was given by the modern time collectors. In fact, the production of this model started in 1861 and the original factory name of this little five-shooter was the Pocket Model of Navy Caliber. By this time, the factory at Hartford was running on full capacity with 1,500 employees. Samuel Colt was 100% workaholic but his health started to collapse. He died on a Friday morning on the 10th January 1862. The last revolvers he saw entering the market was the Pocket Navy and its brother, the 1862 Police model. These revolvers were identical, except for the fluted cylinder, round barrel and creeping loading lever of the Police model. The survival rate of these revolvers is not too high due to the small production quantities. It also have to be mentioned that many of these revolvers were converted to breech loaders in 1875. There is an argument about the first production date and the serials of the pocket models and police models. Some say that they were numbered in the same serial range and some say that the pocket model only appeared in 1865. What seems to be sure that circa 19,000 pocket navies were made until 1873. The most important difference between the Hubert Repro and the original is the rifling. The twist of the original is progressive and it's a right hand twist. The Hubert Repro has a constant left hand twist. All the other parts are showing a very faithful reproduction. The original has the barrel address on top of the barrel, while the Hubert has the necessary info hidden under the loading lever. The Packet Navy was manufactured with 4.5, 5.5 and 6.5 barrels, like it is reproduced by Hubert today. The weight, size and feel of the grip and the frame is also very close to each other. Even the spring tension seems to be the same. Both hammers have the cuts for the safety pins on the cylinder. The original has a very early serial number indicating a production date of 1861. Both cylinders are engraved with the scene of bandits stopping a stagecoach. Both have the safety pins between the chambers fitting the recess cut into the hammer. The tolerances of the original and repro are so close to each other that the original will accept the cylinder of the Hubert repro. The only problem I faced here was putting too much pressure on the wedge. With loosening it, it started cycling perfectly. The diameter of the chamber of the original is 0.371 inches at the mouth while it is getting smaller deeper. The Hubert Repro shows the same size but its diameter is constant all the way down the chamber. I slug the bore of the repro which showed a diameter of 366 land to land and 370 groove to groove. The original bore is larger with a diameter of 376 land to land and 383 groove to groove. So if you are offered an original packet navy with unknown origin, the first task is to check the rifling and the bore as they differ from all the repros. Both original and repro are handling well. They have the same weight, same balance, same grip and even the side picture offers the same characteristics. This model had the advantage of accepting the 36 caliber Colt Navy cartridges, less weight, smaller size and the same killing power. By the time of the Civil War, these guns were not fed by loose powder and ball, but pre-rolled seamless skin, pressed powder or combustible envelope cartridges. According to the 1861 Ordnance Manual, the powder load for the 36 caliber cartridge was 17 grains of fine powder and 145 grain elongated ball. At the range, I was not after the extreme energy, but the best accuracy. My load for the Hubert Repro was 15 grains of 3F Swiss powder, corn wet filler, 
and a 375 round ball, plus some good quality revolver lube. The nipples are a bit small for the standard German caps, so I usually squeeze the mouth of the cap a bit to have a tight fit. With this load the repro shot quite high with aiming the center bottom of the black. If the wedge of the open top revolvers become loose during shooting, you lose accuracy, so give it a few taps after each shot. My load for the original was the same powder, filler and lube, but I used a 383 round ball to match the bore. Whenever you shoot an open top colt, be prepared to fight with the cap parts jamming the action. The Uber to Repro shot an excellent four shot group. Three shots are in the size of the tendering, while only one shot is a bit higher, but still in the nine. The more than 150 years old original also performed better than many of the modern service pistols of today's times, with having all shots inside the nine ring group. The historical impact of this revolver is not as significant as its predecessors, but still they play an important part in firearms history, as being the very last firearms Sam Colt launched personally. In 1867, a 5.5-inch barrel version cost $11.4, offering a cheap and effective self-defense for the public. <laughs> 